It's the 75th edition of homecoming at Penn State, and they are packed into Beaver Stadium as here come the Nittany Lions, a top-ranked team in the nation. And ABC Sports College Football, the College Football Association, presents a Big Ten Conference matchup featuring the Buckeyes of Ohio State and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. I'll tell you what, these fans have been coming here since about, what, noon yesterday. <laughs> they had getting ready for this game. They are fired up, and so are we as we're underway. Good kickoff. Galloway will down it in the end zone, and there's your quarterback for Ohio State, Bobby Hoyne. What a game last week. Tied a uh, Ohio State record with five touchdown passes. Good numbers. Maybe he came of age last week in that game. Sue Lewis, the fullback. Eddie George has rushed for over 1,000 yards. Sanders is a track man who's become a football player. And, of course, the explosive Joy Galloway. The true freshman paces at left tackle. Sumner's a junior college transfer. Porter's playing center for the first time in his career this year. And then Daniels and the All-America, Corey Stringer. On first and 10 from the 20-yard line, both receivers split to the far side. That's Galloway in motion. They said they wanted to get him the football. Galloway will run it, and he has dropped for a loss at the 19-yard line. By Take a look at that defensive line of linebackers for the Nittany Lions. Mazik is 51, Claire 89. The Boa Cody's a dandy. Gelheiser, their leading tackler. Smith, their leading sack man. Pittman, Holes will hit you. Herring's the free safety, and then Miller, the other cornerback. Second down. About ten and a half. The first down for the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Hoying on the play action will roll the other way, and Galloway is wide open at from Bel Air, Ohio. Play action again. Hoying hangs in the pocket, thrown downfield, thrown in between two men. The tight end DJ Jones. And they're doing a real good job. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice high kick. Archie backs up inside the 30, fumbles the football, picks it up, and is hit. Oh, right at the 26, and then nailed. Goodness, the ball came loose. Look at this passing efficiency for Kerry Collins, 192.4, and if that would maintain that number through the rest of the year, it would be the highest in history since they started keeping that stat in 79. McMahon has the best. Whitman is the big fullback. Kajana Carter can break the big play. Brady is a terrific blocking tight end. And then you see the bodyguards. Kevin Costner would be envious of that group. Only three sacks allowed this year by the Penn State offensive line as Carter, the native of Westerville, Ohio, gets it across the 30 to the 34-yard line. It's Finkus and Vrabel, the sack men on the outside. Randall Brown gets the start today. And then the corners, Spring, Paul, Patillo, and Kerner. Paul and Patillo, a couple pluggers. Guys of Ohio State, second down and three from the 34. Carter's got it again, and he had Whitman in front of him. Carter nearly to midfield and finally across midfield to the 49-yard line on his team six and two this year losses to washington and illinois on first and ten to play action by collins going to the outside he's got his receiver over there that was freddie scott <laughs> first and ten 33-yard line carter has it follows his blockers up the middle inside the 30 to the 27-yard line this is a well-rested Penn State team. Oh, on the left tackle, Andre Johnson. Good ball. Fourth side. On the offense. Five yards. Over 48 points a game on the play action. Collins will come near side and finds the big fullback, John Whitman. And Whitman will battle you down to the 26-yard line. 53% conversion rate on a third and three from the 26. And Collins with some pressure that time. Chased out of the pocket. He'll run it. And he has the first down at the 20-yard line. That's Scott in motion. Pass and incomplete. The intended receiver was Whitman. Second attempt from the 20. Justin Williams has checked into the game, and he's in motion to the near side. Carter on the counter. Kajana Carter. Touchdown. Touchdown run. And a penalty marker's down. There's 12 men on the field. 
And that's good. Good leg. As Penn State takes the lead, seven to nothing. Penn State's now outscoring their opponents 106 to 12 in the first quarter. As Conway kicks it off, a low kick that Galloway will field inside the five. He's got a seam on the near side. And I'll tell you what, what first and 10, 35 yard line. That's Jones, a tight end in motion. Pitch it back to Eddie George. Not much room to run as he gets about three yards across the 35. Cutter one pound. Yeah. Second and eight from the 37-yard line. Just over 10 minutes to go. First quarter. Hoyne looking for Galloway. Got it. Joey Galloway. First and 10, 41-yard line. Galloway, they fake to him. Look out. Hoyne is nailed from the backside. Looked like Todd Atkins. They led the Big Ten with 39 sacks a year ago. Second down and 20 now. As Hoying will go quickly to the near side, and that's Buster Tillman, third down and 12. Hoying eludes one man. Now he finds his man. That's Eddie George who's come out of the backfield. That's going to be a couple of yards shot. They actually pass. Fourth down and three from the 34 yard line. Double tight ends. Sualua was the motion man. They throw it to Galloway underneath, and he's got the first down to the 30. Sanders and Tillman, the wide receivers, on first and 10 from the 30. Eddie George might get two. Now his 29th year. Second and nine from the 29. Hoyne with plenty of time, and he goes down the middle. Pass is completed at the 23-yard line. And Thanks, John. Third down and three from the 23-yard line. Quick drop by Hoyne. He is nailed just as he released it. Todd Atkins, they will place the ball just outside the 30. It's a 40-yarder. As long as he is 49. It's exactly right. And it's off the upright. Penn State will take it first and 10 from the 23. Freddie Scott in motion. Whitman gets the football and he is stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Carter and nothing going there. I'll tell you what, good job by that Ohio State defensive. He says, no, I don't even know that the wrap is there. On a third and nine, they'll swing it out to Carter. No problem catching it there and he should have the first down. Aaron trying to make it hang about 4.5 seconds. That's a return type ball right there. See, he can make the yard for that thing. Galloway from the 27-yard line trying to get to the outside. Good job Good by the Penn State special teams at first and 10. You have been deer hunting is what you've been doing. First and 10 from the 39. Eddie George breaks a couple of tackles. Look at this man run across the 45 up to the 47-yard line. He did that all on his own. Second down and three. 46-yard line. They'll give it to Eddie George again, and he is across midfield. To the 48-yard line, first and 10, 48-yard line, 335 left to go, first quarter, Penn State leads it 7 to nothing. Hoyne on the option, tucks it in, gets it inside the 40 to the 38-yard line, gain of about 9. Yeah, but you can't tell when they're going to come up from behind in that intense area. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Second and one. Eddie George has got room on the right side as he's inside the 35 to the 33, 33-yard line. 225 left to go first quarter play action again Hoying coming back now to Eddie George and nobody's fooled there as he's dropped at the 41 yard line Willie Smith uh, moves it back to the 41 second down and 18 for the Buckeyes play action and Hoying's going to take off with it now he shovels it to Eddie George who wasn't even looking he's coming off the and field. a penalty marker is thrown him off the field he might have pulled a hamstring. They okay. have to have him, Roger. Loss of down on that illegal pass. Five-yard penalty. Third down and 22. Hoying throwing it downfield. Galloway over his head. Back at the 10. Scott Turner to punt it. Nice job. Boy, a nice high kick there. Good bounce. If one of the Buckeyes can find it. 
Boy, a terrific punt inside the five by Scott Turner. First and ten. Three-yard line. And you give it to Kajana Carter. And he gets two out to the five. And finally getting some playing time this year. But uh, some pro scouts looking at him and thinking that the injuries go away. He's got a future. On second and eight, that's the big fullback, John Whitman, 6'3", 240-pounder. The ball was loose, and Penn State's got it, and they've got the first down this year, too. See that on his left arm right there? First and ten from the 18, Carter trying to go outside, and he is stacked up at the 20-yard line. We've completed the first quarter, and Penn State leads Ohio State 7-0. Second down and eight. They're in that bear defensive front right now. There's eight people there. Pass completed at the 25-yard line, but stacked up on a third down and two. Carter's got it, trying the left side. He has got the first down. Look at him drag that tackler across the 35-yard line. First and 10, 36-yard line. Penn State averaging over six yards per rushing attempt. Beautiful fake by Collins. Looking down the middle, wide open is Freddie Scott. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, that was a big hit there. Tito Paul, first and 10 at the 48-yard line of Ohio State. Just underway, second quarter, and that's Mike Archie trying the left side. Defense. Yeah, this Milne is 22 and Archie number two, so the uh, two backups. Looks like the blitz backup. field. Looks like blitz, here they come. Collins will send it to Scott on the near side and just overthrows him. Third down and nine. That was Archie in the slot to the near side as Collins going in between, he finds Bobby Ingram. Down to the 25-yard line where Springs make the tackle as they fall down at the 25-yard line. First and 10, and Collins to go to the air again to his tight end, Kyle Brady. Look at the big man inside the five to the four-yard line with Tito Paul. 12.08 to go. First half. Carter up the middle. Still battling, he gets down to the two-yard line. Lorenzo Stiles, only got uh, those two big offensive players, Pace and Stringer, in on defense on a second and goal from, let's call it the one-yard line. Milne, and they stopped. No, oh. Brian Milne, the big man. Whitman and Carter, the running backs, on third and goal from the one, and Kajana Carter's got it, and he has got another touchdown. Second touchdown of the day. And 11th on the year. Collins, number four, is the holder. That is good. 10-40. Left to go. First half, Penn State leads Ohio State 14 to nothing. And Conway's kick will go out of bounds. First and 10, 35-yard line for Bobby Hoyne. And the Buckeyes of Ohio State as he's checking off at the line of scrimmage. He sees that double zone coverage. They'll give it to Eddie George. He was very tentative that time. You see that right ankle of his 5'10", 175-pound true freshman who's carried the ball 51 times for 182 yards is in the game as Hoyne will roll it out and finds his receiver. That's Terry Glenn, and third down and four, Ohio State 0-4, and third down situations today. Point slips, but he's got plenty of time looking for Galloway, he's got it. No, they called him no, out of bounds. No, they called him out of bounds. Well, Galloway's having a few words with the official. The corner rolled up there. Ooh, he's out of bounds. He's out of yeah, bounds. Just ankle. I would expect to see Eddie George back out in a couple of minutes. Third punt of the day by Scott Turner. As Mike Archie is dragged down from behind at the 28-yard line. But Nindy Lions leading the Buckeyes 14 to nothing. Kajana Carter a couple of touchdown runs. And on first and 10 from the 29, Kerry Collins will go to his tight end. That ball was tipped. Brady comes up with a catch. And he leans across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Uh, Kerry Collins really hadn't been pressured that much. And first and 10 from the 41. Carter. He was stuck right there at the 40. That was Craig Powell. Finish. Second and 10 from the 41. They pitch it to Archie. Now they give it back around to Freddie Scott. And Scott is knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Number one in the nation. He's unbeaten. Got an 11-game win streak going. Here comes the blitz. Down and eight. Collins going downfield. Got his receiver, Bobby Ingram. 
Tackled from behind at the 31-yard line by Greg Belisari. 26 yards on the pickup right above Ingram's average as Mike Archie gets it up the middle. And Archie down to the 22-yard line, about a yard shy of the first down. And Texas Tech has beaten Texas convincingly. Down to the 15-yard line. First and 10, 14-yard line. They got an eight-man front up there right now. That means one-on-one -on -one coverage. Collins puts a touch on it. Touchdown, Bobby Ingram. Marlon Kerner was on the coverage, and the officials uh, running over to that corner. In the field to a tackle in that corner. Conway attempts the point after. It's good. I'll tell you, that was a tough catch that Bobby Ingram made over in the corner. Penn State leads it 21 nothing, 6.59 to go, first half. Conway kicks it off. And Galloway at the goal line. As Galloway gets it to the 23. The top rusher, Eddie George, has got the bad ankle. See just two minutes and 39 seconds on that scoring drive as Hoyne on play action on first and 10, and the pass is dropped. He has second and 10 from the 23. Hand up on the left side and tripped up there, and that's the youngster, Pepe Pearson, putting the big showdown from Colorado and Nebraska. Plus, he'll be talking with Gene Stallings, the head coach at Alabama. On third and nine, Bobby Hoyne has not completed the third down play, and he still has it as he's dumped inside the 15-yard line. Eric Clare. And Penn State with Mike Archie back at his own 40 should get pretty good field position. Turner hits a good one, had the wind to his back, and look at Archie backing up to the 26-yard line. As Archie gets it to the 40. He went back in and tried that one play, and he just couldn't do it then. On first and 10, Collins is going for the home run to Freddie Scott. And it's overthrown. Marlon Kerner was back deep. Up. Nearly 100 yards more passing per game this year than last year. And it helps when you can have a guy run the football like that. This is number 90 from getting there quick enough. Third and about a yard and flying high over the top that time was Brian Mill. He's a, he's a bad one, but he feels like he's got a chance of making the Olympics in 96 as a discus throw. And first and 10 from the 48. Collins firing down. What a catch! Six-yard line. More look. We got to see that again. Look at this. Might have even been deflected at, at the line of scrimmage oh, a little bit. Exactly. Ingram, four receptions, 75 yards, and look who's got it! Touchdown! Kajana Carter, 36 yards on his third touchdown run of the day. And Dick, we talked earlier. What would Penn State need to do? They never made this anything this good in Detroit. <laughs> Carter, 13 carries, 113 yards, and the three touchdowns. Let's check on some of our ABC programming. As Conway will kick it off, 28 to nothing. As uh, there's a battle for the football, Galloway running to the near side, and out of bounds at the 18-yard line. First and 10, 18 yard line. Penn State leads it 28 to nothing, and that's Jermon Jackson, the other true freshman, across the 20, out to the 25. Second down and four at the 24 yard line. 244 left to go, first half. As Moe Sulua is nailed at the 21 yard line. Third down and seven from the 21 yard line. It looks like they're going to pressure, at least they're bluffing. Yeah, here they come. Point, throws it near side, and the catch made at the 30-yard line at Ohio State. What a great run he has had here in Happy Valley. On first and 10 from the 31, Hoyne trying to go downfield, and he slipped. Do they call it an interception? Yes, they do. Brian Miller. Here it comes, right in the middle of your screen. That's not an interception. I, I don't think, think that so. was crazy. scored five touchdowns on the very next play. Let's see what happens this time as Freddie Scott will get it across midfield. 123 left to go in the first half. Penn State's got all three of their timeouts left. 
28 to nothing. Collins pumps once. Look at that. He drills it into Bobby Ingram. And no coverage coming your way as Penn State hurry up. And once again, Ingram at the 20-yard line. And this, folks, is a clinic. 109 left to go first half. First and 10, 20-yard line. As Milne gets a handoff. Look at him just run over people down to the 15-yard line. Split backs for Kerry Collins and the Nittany Lions to Mike Archie. Touchdown! What a catch by Mike Archie! We have seen two spectacular catches here today by Bobby Ingram and Mike Archie. Less than a minute to go, first half, and it's good, and it's 35 to nothing. To Black Sox over it is Conway to kick it off, and Galloway will take it. Galloway dropped at the 29-yard line. Uh, this is great stuff. This is we can argue this for for at least another week. First and 10 from the 30 is Hoyne to throw the football, looking for his tight end, D.J. Jones, and it's uh, incomplete. First half, second down and 10 from the 30-yard line. Ohio State with a couple of timeouts remaining as Pepe Pearson, the freshman, will get the first down across the 40. I'm Roger Twabell. Glad you could be with us on this last Saturday in October as the shadows have covered the field here, and Hoyne goes near side. And the pass intended for Chris Sanders, and it goes through his hands. Because Penn State's going to really sag at the defense, and they can really play a true prevent. Point, plenty of time to throw nice it. He's got nice Galloway, throw. and he drops the football. Yeah, well, that's a Bobby catch. Hutch. He threw that. Ron Hudson, the quarterback coach, told me he really came on in the second half of the Michigan State game. Third and ten. Point's throwing it down the far side. The leap, and no, nearly intercepted by Brian Miller. 26, no one back for Penn State to return this, and he hits a low spiral. It's a nice roll, and we'll go in the end zone. So, first and 10 for the 20. <laughs> Look, they're going to flop on. Watch the fans. And Collins will kneel down. It's been perfection for Penn State in the first half. It's been agony for Ohio State. 35 to nothing, the top ranked team in the nation leads it the Prudential halftime report with John Saunders coming up there's your score at halftime from Penn State it shows you how time of possession is unimportant if you're really executing offensively like that as Ohio State kicks it off to start the second half Mike Archie up the near side well, accurately too. first and 10 31 yard line Freddie Scott in motion to the far side John Carter gets busted right in the middle. Ball was loose. Ball was loose. And Ohio State comes up with it. Looks like number 70, Matt Bonhouse. First and 10, 32-yard line. Unbalanced line. That's Pepe Pearson, the freshman, still on his feet. Good balance as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28. The 28. Sue Lou is the fullback. Pepe Pearson, the freshman, is the tailback. Nice job by Sealua, too. Coyne throws near side and has got his receiver. That's Chris Sanders, the senior from Denver. Pearson dives over the top. To the 20, and he's got the first down. Looks like a roots up in the stands. On first and 10 from the 20, Coyne on the option. Takes it inside the 15, down to the 13-yard line. That's pretty good defense inside the red zone. Second and four from the 14. Fake points. Got a man wide open. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown! Chris Sanders. <laughs> Scott Turner's the holder. And it's no good. Wow. It's no good. He was 22 of 24 coming into this game, and he misses the extra point. Time out of the field, 12.31 to go. Third quarter. Wow. Third quarter, Penn State 35, Ohio State 6. Archie and Ambrose Fletcher back deep, and that's a, a short high kick. That's taken by Fletcher. 
And Ambrose Fletcher to the 43-yard line, first and 10, 42-yard line. Both Scott and Ingram split to the near side as Kajana Carter turning it in the left arm. Now, Dick in practice this last week of on a running play. Second and 11 from the 41. Good pressure on Collins that time. Gets it to Mike Archie. Oh, Archie is nailed right at midfield by Tito Paul. Did he nail it from the team in the team meeting? They said, hey, Joe, they're playing. We like them. We don't want anything like that in our uniform. Thanks, Jack. And Freddie Scott's got the pass underneath. Scott is inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line with Tito Paul. There'd be some pressure inside. First and 10, 17-yard line. They give it to Archie. With the hole. Touchdown. Devastating blocking up front by Bucky Greeley, the center. Harding's the right guard. So Penn State has come back and answered Ohio State's first score of the game. And 10.57 to go in the third. Penn State leads the Buckeyes 42 to 6. As Conway kicks it off, Demetrius Stanley will take it. And that gap closes in a hurry as he's brought down at the 23-yard line. That's the freshman, Pepe Pearson. Boy, good hole there. He's got a first down as he gets up near the 35 on first and 10 from the 35-yard line. Play action by Hoyt. Finds a player underneath right at the 40-yard line. The reception made by Pepe Pearson. And off to Sirola. And he loses a yard as he Hoyt checks off at the line of scrimmage. Intercepted, intercepted at midfield by Brian Miller, his second pick of the day. Excellent, excellent play. First off, first and ten from right at midfield. Collins on the play action. Got a man wide open, and Ingram was over there. Ball was under throw. To John Carter, still in the game. And they still and have another, no, they still have a side, and another eight-yard pickup. But uh, Carter's going to move up on that number a bit today. On third and one, Kajana Carter's got it again. And well, I'll tell you, he knew where the marker was as he got to the 40. Marlon Kerner, 46. To offensive line. First and 10, 40-yard line. 8.25 to go third quarter as Scott comes in motion to the near side. That's Mike Archie. Look at him cut it back. Archie leans ahead. He gets four on the play. Wisconsin beating Michigan today, 31-19. Second and five from the 35. Archie again. Archie's got the first down. He's down to the 25-yard line. Fink is 92. Division 1A games. Most wins among active coaches. The John Carter on a first and 10 will follow the blockers left. He had Whitman out in front of him. You got to work for him. Second and six from the 21. <laughs> Balance in the Nittany Lions attack is the key word today as Collins goes to Archie. What a terrific catch. Goodness, Dick, that's the second fine catch he's made earlier for the touchdown. Collins, 18 of 22, 263 yards on first and 10 from the 14-yard line. We're going to screen it out to Archie. Look at him cut it back. Look at him, oh, finally tripped up at the 13-yard line. Beautiful play there, 75th homecoming. Here at Penn State, they've won 30 of the last 33 on homecoming day on a second and eight. They're coming after him right now with everybody. And they give it to Kachana Carter. Touchdown! Number four on the afternoon. Somebody must, must have left the gap over. Oh, yeah, well, there's a no guy. Even talks about this guy. He's the number one passer in the country, and his rating is going up today. It went what, from 190 to, up to 195. As Conway to kick it off. 6.03 to go to third quarter. 49 to 6. Galloway now back and picks it up, and he's going to bring it out. And is run out of bounds at the 14 yard line. First and 10, 16 yard line. As the tight end, DJ Jones, goes in motion. And Pepe Pearson tries the right side. Here's Jenny Rogers with that football history. Speaking of Joey Galloway, they got him the football. 
And he is tackled at the 23-yard line. I mean, he likes to play. I thought you were going to say he likes to eat. Well, he does that, too. Third down and four from the 22. Coyne, boy, he's got problems. Eludes a couple of tacklers. Now is brought down from behind by Jeff Perry. Penn State. They're coming to block it. Well, they block oh, three. nice punt. Yeah, we really got it up there. As Archie makes a fair catch, they've on a first and ten from the 37-yard line. Richardson, the new quarterback, will hand it to John Whitman and the big fullback. Look at him go. The midfield. Gain of 12 in that play. That do help. First down. Right at midfield. That's Justin Williams who comes in motion. And the pitch back will go to Ambrose Fletcher. He is a redshirt freshman from New London, Connecticut. Uh, Second and nine, penalty markers go for it. Good ball, on the offense, five yards. football teams. Second and 14. And, and so, yeah, there's the arm. You were talking about it. Philip Collins makes the reception. It's, he doesn't dip it at all. Hand off to Whitman. And uh, should have the first down. Just needed to get across the 40. Because everybody likes to play. First and 10, 39-yard line. And Whitman getting a lot of ball carries here. Well, they're just running the weak side slant play up. Second down to nine, 38-yard line. Just over a minute to go, third quarter. Penn State leads it 49 to six. On the play action, and look at it. He is nailed by, look like Finkus, 92. He's had a terrific year so far, 46 tackles, 12 tackles for losses, and now his eighth sack. As uh, penalty markers off in the Good last man. three. Illegal procedure. Five, five yards. And it will return with more action between Ohio State and Penn State after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Right now. Third down and 19. Wally Richardson on the run, throws it out of bounds, and he is nailed at the 42. And Fourth down and 19, and a high snap, and the uh, punt sent downfield, and the fair catch at the 10-yard line. First and 10, 11-yard line. That was Kenya who punted that last time for Penn State, so they try to throw the uh, middle screen. Got picked off! Picked off! Chris Mazik. And touchdown! Chris Mazik. Yeah, Chris Mazik. Chris Mazik. All right, Jack. I think their own expectation. Mike Bamiger to kick it off for the Nittany Lions. And that's Demetrius Stanley. Yeah, he brings it back. And Stanley's tackled at the 36-yard line. It was checked in at quarterback. He's a redshirt freshman from Patterson, New Jersey. 6'1", 198-pounder. And that is Jamon Jackson. These two uh, true freshmen, uh, Dick, have... Uh, and, of course, uh, the people in Happy Valley have got that thought on their mind. A trip to the Rose Bowl and all the things that go along with it as Jackson... First and 10, ball right at midfield. Back at quarterback Stanley Jackson. Getting some playing time and gonna get sacks. Yeah. Back at the 42-yard line. Penalty marker. Second down, 16. Well, Allen Audible. Yeah. Yeah. From the 44, Jackson wants to throw it over to the far side, and he's got Chris Sanders as Tony Pittman was there on the coverage. They don't have a lot of secondary kids right now because they're banged up back there. Third down and 10. Jackson looking down to Sanders and a nice play there. Seventh punt for Turner. That's an end over end kick that uh, Archie grabs at the 20. Bounces off one tackle, loses the football. And at the 24 yard line, it looks as though Ohio out. State got it. They did. And uh, there's been an overruling. They said it, uh, it's Penn State football. There's the fumble. And Mog 47 looked like he was on it, but for Wally Richardson. That's Justin Williams in motion to the near side. And a bunch of backups in the game. That's Steven Pitts. They could have scored any amount of points that they wanted to. Let's hold on one second. We'll go to this play. All right, on second down and three. 
Well, I'll tell you what, their offense just keeps going and going. Jason slowed the Penn State team's for real. First and 10, 41-yard line. As pass thrown out of bounds. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you might want to do a little emergency broadcast system signals, you know, and just stay hey. off the air. For <coughs> hey, Arud, I'll see you in Maui next week, okay? Yeah, cool. Second and 10, oh, the nice. 41 yard line, and the play behind the line of scrimmage. Third down and 14. Just asked uh, Schembechler about that. At the 37, pass completed to Ambrose Fletcher, and uh, he. Yeah, beautiful. Down at the 15, Caney of the punter. Penn State was there playing Cal. And I was a sophomore in high school. Oh, How about that? First and 10 for the 17. Matter of fact, we went unbeaten that year. Second down and seven from the 20-yard line. Quarterback Stanley Jackson, and uh, he is stuffed. Third down and seven. Jackson looking to make the net is about the third time a Ohio State wide receiver has dropped the ball. And that's from inside the 10. And making the catch there, number 11, Chris Campbell. Campbell still on his feet. Campbell all the way inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. He's first and 10, 19-yard line. Penn State looks like they're going to get it in the 60s. And just a power running right up the middle. That's Jason. The Ambrose Fletcher, 25. And Jason Slowed, 15, the running backs. And that's Slowed, and he gets it inside the 10. You know, Stephen Pitts has checked in a running back. He's got the football. Cuts it back in, down to the one-yard line. Boy, on a third and one from the two-yard line. <laughs> That's milled in motion. Handoff goes to Pitts. Yeah, he is stacked up back at the four-yard line. Fletcher is the tailback. He's got the football. He's got some blocking. And he's got the touchdown. Ambrose Fletcher, his first career touchdown. Attempt to point after a former soccer player. Kicks it up and through. 63 to 6 with 6 31 left to go. Have a chance to pass on some of his thoughts. So Barninger sends it downfield where it's picked up by Demetrius Stanley. And Stanley gets it back to the 49 yard line. We found a weakness, so I, I don't have a lot of pressure academically, and I can concentrate on being a quarterback. And it really has proved to be his benefit. And that's Stanley Jackson as he gets it nearer first down at the 40 yard line. Well, but uh, he has used his time wisely, as uh, all of these Penn State players have, and it reflects in their play as Jackson throws on the run, and that ball is dropped. Yeah, <laughs> Cooper does. Cooper does. Absolutely. Yeah. Third down and one from the 41-yard line. That is Pepe Pearson, highly touted freshman. The Pac-10 race is just up in the air. They're coming after him. First and 10 from the 21. Pepe Pearson. Nice job. At the 20-yard line, brought down the second down and nine from the 20. Ooh, Jackson got some room to run. Great block there. And I'll tell you, Jackson's got some great quickness, and he had a nice block third down and one. Ohio State Trail 63 to 6, 457. Left to go, and uh, that was Jermon Jackson. First and goal, nine yard line. Boy, he's hanging in the pocket as long as he can. Finally nailed there. Jackson wants to throw it again, eludes one tackler. Got a man open in the end zone. Couldn't find any leaps up in the air. Is knocked out at the sixth line. Dwayne Carter was all by himself. Third and six. He's going in. Yeah. Touchdown, Ohio State and Stanley Jackson. Well, that's his first touchdown in his college career. He's going for two. 
Jackson's got it. Stanley Jackson throws in the end zone, and they've got the two-point conversion. That's Ricky Dudley, the Ohio State basketball player who is now playing football. So the two-point conversion, 3.07 to go, 63-14. Kickoff and uh, Penn State. Number 40 for the Nittany Lions, Stephen Pitts. And let's check in. He probably owns the dry cleaners now that does the pants, actually. On first and 10 from the 31 yard line, Sylvania, 6 foot 2, 205 pounder. First and 15 from the 26. As across the 30, out to the 33 yard line. And uh, especially really impressed with the secondary, the two corners. And as the clock runs, great speed. You know, they say he's just a step slower than Robert Smith. Mm -hmm. Third down and seven. McQuarrie, the quarterback, will uh, hand it off to Ambrose Fletcher. And he's close to the first down across the 40 to the 41-yard line. First and 10, 42-yard line. And across the 45 and across midfield for Penn State is 48, Carl Gray. I wonder what, how long it's going to take Coach Joe to find something wrong and to I correct it. from these game tapes. Well, you have the guy slipping going into halftime. You know, you uh, correct that. But he had the one. But the talk in the Heisman race, as big number 48, Carl Gray, has got it again. This Joe Paterno will take his bows. And what a magnificent effort by the Nittany Lions of Penn State. He, he, I'll tell you this, he said, you know, I never thought this was going to happen. And he's sincere. He really didn't believe this was going to happen. Scott Turner, the punter, averaged 45 yards on eight punts, had a career long of 60. For Jack Arood and Dick Vermeil, I'm Roger Twible. Thanks for being with us, and so long, everybody.